Welcome back, welcome back guys. Michael Lee here, your realtor of the Prom Beaches and I have a beautiful property tour for you guys today. For all my subscribers, welcome back. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee and my job is to help you guys find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city. I would like you guys to please consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new neighborhood tours property tours as well as real estate information all right guys so today we're going to be in the neighborhood of banyan k located in the middle of west palm beach now banyan k was a community built just three years ago in 2021 it features just 94 homes so this neighborhood is pretty exclusive for west palm beach and it's very very new relative to all the other homes in west palm beach now the median price point is going to be around 1.2 million we're going to check out this beautiful three bedroom three and a half bath home that spans a little bit over 3,500 square feet so without further ado let's go Alright guys, welcome to Banyan K, where we're going to check out this beautiful three bedroom, three and a half bath home that features a little bit over 3,200 square feet. I'm standing right now in the entryway with 10 and a half foot ceilings and we'll start off immediately to the right where this is going to be your laundry area. I won't go all the way in, there's still some homeowner things here, so just to respect the privacy with that but you can't really beat it. Lots of storage, granite countertops, pretty well done. Two car garage where you enter here. And immediately upon entry off to my left is gonna be the first of three bedrooms. Now, if you're an older person, you know, this could be a primary suite if you don't want to go upstairs, even though it's very close to the front door, but you do have the dual sinks as well as the walk-in shower and a walk-in closet here. So this could be another primary suite for someone, you know, that's looking to downsize or is an empty nester and they don't want to have the primary suite upstairs. You probably would lose a little bit of the square footage of the suite, but you don't want to battle the steps, you can keep it downstairs. Off to the left here, the guest bath. When you have guests, it's always nice to have it on the first floor, right off the entertainment space. Entertainment space meaning the kitchen. Open floor plan, open concept, you know, waterfall island. And you, as you can see, tons of storage. I'm not sure if you guys saw my last property tour, but that property had tons of storage and this one rivals that one in storage. So this is a big thing in new construction homes. A lot of families are asking for storage space because we all have a bunch of stuff to keep, especially in the kitchen. So your children need snacks, your husband needs snacks, the wife needs snacks. You have pots, you know, Christmas stuff specially styled for parties. So it's pretty well done. Now this is the dining area. So if you can see in this house, they did kind of a dual dining area, but that will be considered your living room or another dining room as they placed it. But I would consider that kind of a, a formal living room because mainly because of the outlets for the television setup. So they give you an option of where you would like to have the television and your couch set up. As you can kind of see, this family has chosen to have the back area be their family area as far as the living room. So you have 10 and a half foot ceilings, recessed lighting throughout, tons of space for families to spread out. You know, it, it's a 3-3 three, three, and it's a large 3-3. Three, three. You can do a lot of creative things with this space. And as you can see, they have an additional closet space that they've turned into a wine storage. So, very creative. All right, now, 
Let's go check out the second story. Second floor, pretty straightforward. You have some storage space here. Off to my right, four additional towels, storage. You also have some more storage as well for larger items. So if you have luggage or bags, additional storage space here. Bedroom number two can be used as another space for the children or an office space. Walk-in closet, just to give you an idea of what the closets look like. This just has towels. So you do have your large walk-in closets. All the closets are pretty large, which is great. So this house is built for storage as well. Single vanity, tub, perfect space for the kids. Let's check out the primary suite. The largest of the three bedrooms, recessed lighting. Let me see here. And the primary suite is gonna be 18 by 14 square feet. So you're looking at a large primary suite here with dual walk-in closets on each side as we'll see in a bit. Hallway in the middle, as you can see, his and her spaces, ample closet space. And as we'll check out the master bath, primary bath, you have the separate tub, sink, a little bit of space. Walk-in shower, pretty well done. So with that being said, let's go check out the backyard space. Cover patio guys, as we enjoy the backyard space with recessed lighting. So there is an opportunity to have a ceiling fan as well with that light in the middle and an opportunity for a custom outdoor kitchen as well with the plug setups already installed. And then you do have a bit of a wraparound space that continues. So that's right off of the living room that we just toured as well. And then you have a nice view. Waterfall. So if you guys have made it to the end of the video and you guys are interested in this particular home, just reach out to me, leave a comment below or contact me at the information below. Or if you're just interested in calling Palm Beach County home and you would love to see some different areas, just reach out to me below and I'll get you started. Until then, I'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace.